Welcome back to the Plays With Cars YouTube channel on another episode of Project Boost Wagon. That's our 2012 Ford Flex EcoBoost all-wheel drive with its twin-turbo 3.5-liter V6 that we are upgrading and doing things to to try to make it run 12s in the quarter mile. Uh, we have, of course, done the Roush cold air intake, and the next step was a tune setup from Unleashed Tuning. So that includes this uh, SCT flasher here with a custom tune on it from Unleashed, a uh, colder plugs, which we had detailed in a different video along with the uh, lower uh, temperature thermostat and then this little guy up here this manifold air pressure sensor going to a three bar version of that in order to up the boost using the tuner and make more power now what we ran into is we installed everything and went to go make the more power and it went into a fail safe mode where the turbos weren't making the boost that the computer was asking and so it shuts everything down it opens the wastegates up and you basically get nothing so instead of having 20 pounds of boost we had three pounds of boost couldn't really figure out what was going on so we went back to uh stock the thermostat and the plugs obviously stay uh but put the tune back to stock put the stock manifold air pressure sensor back in it did some diagnosing and some data logging and it looks like we're not quite hitting boost targets under full load so when it was really hot out which it has been really really hot out here in the pacific northwest um it was having some heat soak issues maybe it wasn't quite making it but where you were seeing 11 to 12 psi which is normal that is kind of like the stock boost level in these uh so we're not real sure what's going on when stock form it runs and drives fine everything seems to be working but as soon as you put the tune on it and try to up it uh it falls flat on its face so one of the diagnostic things that we were looking at is on the turbocharger which is this guy right here down here there's your uh, exhaust turbine there's the center cartridge and then the compressor side is the aluminum piece way down in there uh, it has what's called a wastegate actuator on it so they are internally wastegated and if we get this way down here where you can see you see There is a metal arm uh, that moves. And what we do have is on this actuator, I have a vacuum hose uh, hooked up to it, but we're not pulling vacuum, we're putting in pressure. So I got a little tire inflator thingy here, and we are checking to see if that whiskey actuator does in fact move. So it's, you see that metal arm right there? So that is the wastegate actuator. If that moves when we apply pressure, then it is good. Well, unfortunately you can see it moved. No problem, release the pressure and it moved back. So we know the front turbo wastegate actuator is good. Now I gotta do everything uh, to get to the back one and check it as well, because one of the things that it could be is uh, a wastegate actuator sticking or not working correctly or being broken, uh, then the wastegate's open all the time. And so if one turbo is working correctly and the other one's just kind of wastegate open, in stock tune, it might be working well enough for the car to just drive fine, but as soon as we try to up the boost and it can't hit the target boost, that's where we're running into the issues. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything apart and check the rear turbo wastegate actuator, but these are some of the things you run into when you tune a car. Uh, even if things all work great when it's stock, as soon as you try to up the power, uh, things can happen and it might uncover some issues that you didn't previously know about. So we're going to keep diagnosing on it. It's nothing from Unleashed. Their tune has been fantastic. And in fact, they've been a great help with diagnosing this, looking at the data logs, helping us understand what was going on with the car, why sometimes it was making boost and sometimes it wasn't. So uh, shout out to Unleash. They have been absolutely fantastic in helping us with this. Uh, but yeah, we're going to keep uh, diving in on it because if it's just a wastegate actuator, we can replace that uh, and then keep going, put the tune on it and go for it. If the wastegate actuators are both great and we're still having the turbo boost problems, it means one of our turbochargers uh, is done for. It has kicked the bucket. And obviously, if one of our turbochargers needs to be replaced, you might as well do both of them because the other one can't be far behind because it's been overstressed the whole time the other one was dead. And if you're going to replace both of them, you might as well upgrade them, <laughs> which would be a very, very expensive endeavor uh, and something we were planning on doing at some point, but not exactly at 80,000 miles. So I'm going to keep diagnosing. Hopefully that back one honestly is bad and I can change that and we can go from there. But uh, for now, I'm going to keep working on it. So that is our update here on Project Boost Wagon. I promised you we were tuning it. We did get everything. We are trying to tune it. It's just not quite working out yet. So uh, if you like seeing this stuff, definitely stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button because uh, we will have more here on Project Boost Wagon as we hunt for 12s here on the Plays With Cars YouTube channel.